uh, the XWIS Gantt chart also has the inbuilt capability to show data as a table. And uh, when you have a requirement for ad hoc slice and dice capabilities, this really plays an important role. Uh, and when I say this, it's not just, you know, converting the data that's shown on the chart into a grid, but uh, also giving pretty robust slice and dice options to the end user. So end users can quickly search or filter through data. Uh, they can uh, maintain a split screen view while doing that, filter values based on individual columns or categories. And, you know, uh, here's the best part. You can actually view the summarized table as a pivot table, very similar to what Excel has to offer. So if you have display measures, display categories, and uh, you know different metrics available on your Gantt chart, you can actually display these uh, or not on your Gantt chart, but you can still use them as part of the pivot table. And I'm gonna show you that right here. Uh, you know, just like to set up different tabs. So I'm navigating to the tab for ad hoc analysis. And uh, you will see right here that uh, there's a small icon over here that allows me to switch to a summary table and this is what I'm talking about here. Right? So I have a summary table here that basically shows the underlying data. And here's the interesting part. There are, are two different ways I can use this. I can go and select columns that have to be displayed as part of the table or I can go in and set filters. So for example, if I want to set only the list of tasks that contain uh, requirements. Right. So there you go. It automatically filters that. And I can even search for these at a very high level. So if I if I want to search for, let's say, uh, internal audit, I can choose the search bar here and I can search for that task and see everything that's available here. And this is where it gets really interesting is when I could switch to the columns tab, I can actually show which columns and, you know, uh, uh, which columns are actually going to show up on this. So if I don't want the set of tasks, I want the set of subtasks. Maybe just I don't want the start and end dates and uh, the planned end dates, either just the durations and the person responsible. Uh, or let's say even I don't want the person responsible there. There you go. And here's the best part. I can actually group these together by dragging and dropping it here. Right. I can even set up a pivot mode and uh, you can see how it creates a pivot table, just like what you have inside Excel. Right. And the best part is I can actually have this as a split screen view with my Gantt chart. So I have the Gantt chart here and then I have my pivot table right below showing me whatever information I want from that Gantt chart. So if I want to quickly summarize, you know, the actual total duration for a project or uh, uh, search for a particular column and see what kind of metrics it has defined to it, I have all of that data available to me very clearly right there. So when you want to do a little bit of ad hoc uh, slicing and dicing as far as the Gantt chart is concerned that kind of capability is built into the tool there is a, a summary table it is uh, it can be enabled from within the options itself and uh, all you have to do is toggle this on and you're done it's available for you so that's another project scenario that's tackled by your Gantt chart